Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at yet another film dedicated to the life adaptation to the man who trained Bruce Lee, Ipmon. Ipmon originally gained stardom from Ipmon starring Donnie Yen. This film was very successful and once you have a property that people want to see, boy will you see them no matter how saturated the market becomes. After Itmon 4 was released in 2019, here comes yet another one in 2020. Itmon Kung Fu Master was produced and released by Magnet Pictures in 2020. This version of the film stars Dennis Tu, who also starred in another Itmon film, The Legend is Born, Itmon, released in 2010. Fully versed in action cinema, I actually enjoyed the earlier version of the film and was really looking forward to this recent release. This version of Ip Man's life is during the period where he did serve as a police officer. This film mostly shows Ip Man standing against injustice, especially for those who cannot find justice themselves. The main antagonist is, as always, Japanese forces trying to control a portion of China with the people submissive and unable to revolt. Knowing this, Itmon quits the police force and takes matters into his own hands in finding justice and giving a symbol to revolt against the Japanese incursion. The story sh itself shows the beginning of Itmon's family, but rarely delves any deeper than that, than other than self-sacrifice. To be honest, I felt the Japanese characters had more character development and was much more fun to watch as they range from many different emotions on screen from honorable to deceitful. The action on screen is really well done and does give the martial arts fans what they are looking for in an Itmon film. Really well done choreographed fight scenes. The film doesn't disappoint and truly is the highlight here in this film. Although the beginning of the film does have more punch in the action department than the ending, it still satisfies throughout the movie. Besides the action, the story tries to invoke emotion from the viewer but in the end doesn't do what was intended as the story is lackluster at best with its pacing a bit confusing as they jump from one storyline to another and somehow it, the film just ends. The film is also short and knows that people are watching primarily for the action fight choreographed scenes. I myself wanted to watch the film for such reasons and was not disappointed but found that although a simple story, it could have been told much better and in a way that doesn't confuse the viewer with the many story arcs that weren't really truly fulfilled. Itmon Kung Fu Master gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its fantastic action sequences but struggles in telling a simple story and making that story cohesive enough for the viewer's enjoyment. That's it for me on this episode on the latest iteration on Itmon's franchise. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and gray. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.